So I'm studying my love affair with Windsor McKay and Comics as a Myth by uh, B.P. Nichol. So this essay started with how B.P. Nichol viewed comic books and his avant-garde uh, movements, I guess. So B.P. Nichol viewed comic strips as a form of movement and of thought and creativity. Um, his different style of comics started when the whole surrealism and dataism started as well in Canada. So it also focuses on his view on di the relations of the space on a page and the formation of words and where the words are put and what the words mean. Uh, so this new way of writing with a different structure and function as a poem B.P. Nichol didn't view this as a new kind of poetry. He viewed it as a poetry that was just a different look of it, I guess. In, I guess you could say. He also thought that the change and the study and exploration of the language and linguistics and structure and look on a page was important. So since he doesn't view this as a new kind of poetry, Personally, I thought that when we were first studying him that he was trying to make a movement into this new concrete poetry, new look at the linguistics and the structure and everything that he does differently from most poets. Um, I thought he was trying to create this movement, create a new kind of poetry, but he actually did not see it as this new kind of poetry. It was just a refurbishing of poetry. So in the second part of the essay, it's actually B.P. Nichols' notes that he took on comic books. Um, so in order to read these notes well, I guess you could say, you need to know what they're about. What surrealism is, what dataism, and what Windsor, or Windsor McKay is. Um, so Windsor McKay is actually a comic book artist. So he changed the way that comic books look. He, so the way he did this with comic books was if something in a box was really important, he would change the size and the dimensions of this comic or er, of this box. So this was taking place in the early 1900s. He was being he was exploring like BP Nickel does in all his work. He was an explorer of how things looked on the page, which is kind of where B.P. Nickel was coming from with a different exploration. Uh, so surrealism is a movement of visual artwork. So it's the visualization of words. It's the visualization of different kinds of art. So surrealism, it creates this element of surprise, uh, which is something that B.P. Nickel was very fond of. He was trying to create something different, so it was a surprise really. Uh, Dadaism began after World War I. Um, it was this kind of movement away from the normal art. Uh, it consisted of rebelling against the regular and the iconic movement, or er, iconic literary and artistic views. It was actually a groundwork to create this abstract art that we know of today. It also created a, the pop art and uh, something that B.P. Nickel was very fond of that he did very well with sound poetry. So it created this different kind of thing. So these are both movements that inspired B.P. Nickel. One quote that stood out to me a lot um, was, the relevance of myths is only as you make it relevant to your time. So that means even though there may be myths in society, they may not be relevant to what is happening in today's society. So this also goes for history. Uh, a great example that I thought of for this was uh, when the plane crashed last year. It brought up these old stories that I had no idea had happened. It was you were learning something new about the past even though it did not happen right now. So 
it, it kind of ties in with this quote where, you know, it's not relevant until you have a relevance. It's not there until you know it's there. Um, so when they were playing all these old plane crashes on the news, this was all new, like, new stuff that I was learning, even though it happened way long ago that I should have known about, but I didn't because it wasn't relevant in the time. Uh, so that, I find that ties in perfectly with this quote. So I know I'm already over my time, so I'm going to make this quick. Um, I thought that during this essay it was very interesting to see how BP Nickel was exploring how he uh, expanded his work, how he developed his work, and also the fact that he went more into depth about this whole relevance thing, how, you know, even though you may not see it, but all your work is relevant to each other, um, and you don't notice it until you go back again. Um, so this is basically it. Uh, thank you for watching.